Today on Foreclosure Friday, we're answering a viewer question. So normally we, on Foreclosure Friday, look at things from the buyer or the investor point of view. But today we're answering a viewer question and looking at it from the owner or the tenant point of view, the resident. Today's question came in from a viewer and this situation actually happened in the last 10 days or so. So here's the question. If the bank takes the house, will they keep and sell your stuff, the contents, to pay for the debt. My name is Glenn Heslop from freehomesearchcalgary.com powered by eXp Realty. I've been a realtor for quite a long time in this area. I was first licensed here in Alberta uh, about 35 years ago. Yeah, that's a long time ago. And I spent more than 11 years uh, working to help banks uh, secure and uh, foreclosure properties, uh, properties that the mortgages were in arrears. Uh, preparing the homes for sale. So I'm using my experience both as an agent uh, and as a foreclosure contractor uh, to answer this question. I'm answering this based on the uh, the rules and the, the way things happen here in Alberta, uh, but the situation should be much the same in the rest of Canada and many places in the Western world. If at any point in this video you have questions about real estate or the foreclosure process, you can reach out to me at 403-826-5693 and I'll put my uh, contact information uh, down here below and I'd be glad to help you. All right, let's get into it. So does the bank want your stuff? So this viewer uh, was a guest in a home, like a tenant or a guest, he had permission from the owner to stay there. And uh, he went off one day about his business and he came back at the end of the day and a uh, representative uh, from, the, from the bank or the lender um, had secured the property, means they changed the lock, posted no trespassing signs, inventoried the property, etc. And he was unable to gain entrance. Now the sign said that if he, was, uh, if he gained entry to the property on his own uh, to retrieve his belongings, that he would be charged with criminal trespass. Now this obviously made our uh, viewer quite distressed and concerned uh, because he'd left inside the property the tools of his trade. Uh, he was a carpenter, so he left uh, hand tools and saws, air compressor, etc. in the property. And these are the tools that he used to make a living. And he was concerned that the bank would then sell these items to try to repay uh, some of the debt that was owed. Now quickly, when will the bank's agent enter the property, secure it, change the locks, and take possession of the property. Uh, normally they will do this when a reasonable person uh, would assume or conclude that the property is vacant and abandoned. Now they've no doubt been uh, driving by the property on a weekly by weekly basis, maybe a monthly basis, and checking on the property. So if they were to notice that the snow's not shoveled, there's no tracks in the snow, there's uh, the, or the lawn's not been mowed, there's a pile of flyers, maybe the utilities are disconnected, there's no sign of vehicles coming and going, that a reasonable person would conclude that the property was vacant and abandoned, uh, and then they would secure the property, take possession of the property on the power of a court order called a preservation order or on the general terms of the mortgage that the, uh, the property has been abandoned and the, and the mortgage is in arrears. Now second, they will take possession of the property when the legal process has been completed. Uh, so a, uh, a order of foreclosure has been granted, the uh, lender has been granted title to the property, uh, or uh, granted an order of judicial sale, uh, and they will typically then serve notice, a 30-day notice, uh, on to the, uh, the occupant and or the uh, mortgage or the owner of the property, uh, and then they will proceed to, uh, to secure the property at that time. Third way is if the uh, mortgage or voluntarily gives up possession of the property. Uh, in history in Alberta, this has been called uh, in the past jingle mail, uh, where there's been times when uh, the property values dropped, uh, the, the economy was stagnant, and a whole bunch of people were unable to make their payments, and they simply mailed the keys to the bank. It's a bit of an oddity in Alberta law uh, that the, uh, in most cases, uh, besides uh, like a CMHC uh, secured mortgage, uh, which falls under federal law, but the mortgages that fall under Alberta law, the uh, lender can typically only go after the property and not uh, a default judgment for anything or any shortfall. If they had a $400,000 mortgage and were only able to sell the property for $300,000, they typically haven't been able to go after uh, the mortgage or for the $100,000. So in these cases, many times uh, they simply hand the keys over. 
Now, our viewer was understandably a little bit panicked uh, as he came home at the end of the day and found uh, the tools of his trade were locked into the house and he was concerned that these would be sold in order to uh, pay some of the debt. But this just isn't the case. Uh, if, if he were to simply uh, call the number that's posted in the notice on the door, uh, the lender or the bank's representative will make arrangements to meet him, uh, probably make him sign a release that he's getting his stuff, probably check his ID, uh, but then he will be able to retrieve his belongings. Uh, they're only too happy to do so uh, because they are unable to uh, sell the pro sell these goods for the recovery of the debt because they don't don't have any uh, debt att uh, attached to these items, and so they're happy to let them go rather than having to pay a contractor to dispose of the goods. Now, if there's over a certain value, I think the last time I, I uh, checked this was about six thousand dollars in cumulative value. Uh, then they actually have to hold them for a period of time, maybe put them in a storage locker. Um, before they uh, before they can be disposed of and there's a whole bunch more details on that that don't really apply to this situation so the answer to the question does the bank want your stuff no they do not want your stuff uh, it is just kind of in their way really all they're trying to do is uh, get paid for the mortgage that is uh, in arrears on the property uh, if the payments are falling behind a certain amount uh, they will simply go after the property to get the property resold for the payment of debt. And in fact, in uh, many cases, if after all their expenses, there is, uh, they sell the property to pay off the debt and they pay their expenses and there's more money left over, they do actually need to return that to the mortgage or as well. So next time I will address another question. And this question is, if I'm behind on my mortgage and the bank starts knocking on my door, should I move out? So I hope you all got value from this video um, and watch next week for the next video coming up. Um, and I would really appreciate if you've had some experience here, or you have other questions about this, just post them in the comments below. Uh, I'd be happy to answer your questions as best I can. If I'm not able to, I'll do the research and uh, so we can get the answers for you. It's a really interesting process. Uh, if you've considered uh, buying and selling a home in this area, a foreclosure or not, it's a free, a free consultation and a free call. And I'd be happy to hear from you. All right. Enjoy your weekend. Keep warm.